Ciao, somos de Erasmus. We are here to make our new video, No Fear. Most of the ideas that we got for the new songs, we got them on the tour. We had a long tour, two and a half years, with the last album, and uh, we kind of realized that we have to come up with the next album. It was really good to be writing on the tour in the backstages or in the soundtrack. I had this little notebook where I kept writing all kinds of little lines and pieces of poems and stuff, and uh, pretty fast after the last shows in Japan in January, we went to the studio, like, only rehearsed for a month and put all the pieces together. Girl, you lived your life like a sleeping swan. Your time has come to go deeper. In the beginning we were we were maybe trying to mix very many different kinds of music styles and now we're just concentrating on uh, strong melodies. I think that we are more like focused now with our writing and the sound of the band. Well, I think uh, the album title Hide from the Sun is kind of uh, based on the feeling that we had uh, after a long tour, like uh, being touring the world for two and a half years and basically every night playing a concert, then many times having an after party, sleeping the whole day and waking up when the sun goes down. So basically the, the whole life uh, the rhythm of living was totally um, kind of turned upside down, so it's, it's hiding from the sun all the time. No fear, the lyrics might sound uh, a little bit depressed, but actually it's a song about a person who's somehow ending a a chapter in her life and it's time to move on to the next one and uh, in a way it's like a mental death and the uh, beginning of the new life so the positive vibes are somehow there as well no fear I think videos are quite important. It's a way for the listener to get even deeper in the song. It's sort of like a door. And if you see the images and if the video is backing up the song, then it's perfect. We had a few different scripts from a few different directors and this was the best. The lyrics fit the uh, video idea quite perfectly and I like that very much. Uh, the video idea came from uh, Jörn, the director, and uh, we sent him the song and basically the next day he replied and he came up with a story and uh, it's uh, about a story about this girl and she's sleepwalking through the whole video and uh, whatever she does, whatever situation she got into, uh, she's always really calm and always making her way to the unknown. No Ohnmächtigkeit oder Bewusstlosigkeit oder ohne Bewusstsein zu sein, wenn man nachts umhergeht äh, und dann vielleicht sich auch in Gefahr begibt, weil man nicht darüber nachdenkt, die symbolisiere ich dann halt so mit Schla Schlafwandeln. Und bei, dieser, äh, bei diesen Situationen kommt es dann auch zu gefährlichen Momenten, über die das Mädchen aber gar nicht so richtig nachdenkt und deshalb so automatisch oder, oder eher völlig unbewusst äh, da hineingeriet. Und äh, die Band hat dann eben so die Rolle, dass sie diese ganze Situation des Mädchens praktisch nachfühlt. I think these butterflies that we have in the video uh, represent the, the beauty and the fragile things in life, which can be really 
quickly turned to dust and kind of destroyed. And I think it's sort of the theme of the album as well, musically and lyrically. The Schmetterling has auch aufgrund seiner Farbigkeit irgendwie verkörpert er was ganz Schönes, kann aber auch, wenn er so braun und eklig ist und so, so, eine, so eine Motte, kann ja wieder äh, fast spinnenähnlich einen ganz anderen äh, Charakter suggerieren. Und deswegen ist so diese, diese Schmetterling so ein bisschen auch Symbol und Verbindung zwischen diesen Welten, schöne Welt und, und äh, der Realität. Weil die schöne Welt ist für das Mädchen eigentlich mehr so der Traum, in den sie fliehen möchte, aber der in Wirklichkeit gar nicht existent ist. Schlafwandeln fällt dann natürlich sofort große Höhe ein. Ja, zum einen wird sie halt auf dem Dach rumlaufen, was relativ hoch ist. Und das ähm, kann ganz gefährlich aussehen. Wobei das in der Kamera immer sehr schwierig ist, die Höhe äh, glaubhaft darzustellen oder gefährlich darzustellen, weil eine Kamera immer ein zweidimensionales Bild liefert, fällt komplett der tiefen Eindruck. Aber wir werden sie auch durch ein Dach stürzen lassen, also das macht eine Stuntfrau die sehr mutig ist. Well, we actually don't meet the girl in the video. She's just uh, in the end, she's walking on the roof and falling down through this glass window. But she never lands the ground. She's supposed to wake up in her own bed. Mm -hmm. So we have a happy ending. Mm -hmm. 